Now, when we think about electric cars, the very first car which comes in our mind is Tesla. But do you know that Tesla is not the very first electric car which was made in India? The electric car concept started in 1996. I mean, imagine almost 20 years ago. And in 2000s, there was electric bus as well. So it's not something which has been new. And since then, the entire EV space in India has grown. Right now, if you see, the entire EV space is currently valued at $1,434 billion and it is expected to grow even more. But currently, I would say from early 2022 or from late 2021, the EV space is facing an issue. The EV manufacturers are facing an issue and it has nothing to do with the demand, but it has majorly to do with the supply. The supply is getting disrupted. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you what is currently happening in the EV space. Why are EV manufacturers facing this issue or why are they facing this hurdle? So if you do find this video useful, Make sure you do like it, do support this channel as well and make sure you do watch this video all the way till the end. India currently has a goal that by 2030, it wants at least 30% of the overall automobile sector to be in the EV space. It wants the EV adoption to increase. Now definitely, this target is quite steep. But because of the current supply issue which is happening, this target seems to be even more steeper. Now when I'm saying the current supply issue, one major reason is because of the Russia-Ukraine war. Now because of the war, multiple materials or multiple raw materials which are required in the EV space, they have become harder to source out. This is one of the major pushbacks which the EV industry is currently facing out. Now the second main reason is because of the shortage of lithium ion. Now lithium ion is one of the key components when it comes to electric vehicle and it is highly used because of its high energy by unit mass. It is used in making lithium ion batteries and definitely like you all know, the battery is the main component when it comes to the electric vehicle. But the big question is, why is there a shortage of lithium ion? Why is this a major concern? And the answer to that is very simple. Because the supply of lithium ion is not able to match up with the demand. Now when I'm saying demand, if you see Google Trends, over the last 4 years, the entire search for electric vehicles has gone up. The sales of electric vehicles are going up year on year as well. So definitely, the demand for electric vehicles are going up. Also, if you see, which is the country which produces the maximum amount of lithium ion? And the answer to that is China. China is a global monopoly when it comes to lithium ion and they produce nearly 16% of the lithium ion globally. But right now, because China is a monopoly, they are also increasing the prices when it comes to exporting. And also within China itself, there is a mismatch when it comes to supply and demand because of which the lithium ion prices are going up even more. Now, the world currently produces about 80,000 tons of lithium ion annually. With countries like China, Australia being a major supplier, India is much below the annual standard. Now, definitely in India, recently lithium ion has been recently found. The deposits of lithium ion has been found in Karnataka, where the total reserve is about 1,600 tons. But the big question is, is that enough for the AV industry as such? And the answer is no. 1,600 tons is nothing. So definitely, the India's EV industry is highly dependent on importing these lithium ion batteries from countries like China, etc. Now, in case of an electric vehicle, almost 40 to 50 percent of the cost is incurred in the entire battery itself. So, which means that when the batteries or when lithium ion becomes more expensive, the cost of raw materials will go up, which means the cost of the car will also go up. And what do you think manufacturers will do? They'll definitely pass on this cost to the consumer. Now, as a consumer in India. Because we are extremely price sensitive, because we are extremely money minded, the chances of a person adapting an EV car as compared to an IC engine car is much lesser when the cost is much higher. So definitely this affects the India's growth in the EV sector as well. But the big question is, why is India trying to break into the lithium industry? Why is India struggling so much to break into this? The reason for that is very simple, because the demand for electric vehicles has gone up. And like I mentioned before, over the last 4 years or last 5 years, the overall sales of electric vehicles has gone up even in India. Second main reason is that with arrival of e-mobility, the entire automobile sector is going through a fundamental transformation. A lot more public transports are becoming electric vehicles. You even have companies like Ola which is coming up with electric scooters. So definitely the generation is moving towards electric. Also if you see electric vehicles are much cheaper to maintain, they are much more cost productive and they require less maintenance and they are better for the environment as well. And currently. The major reason is because with an increase in the price of crude oil, with an increase in the price of petroleum, definitely EV is a much cheaper option. 
also you have the governments which give multiple different incentives such as multiple tax brackets or incentives for adopting ev vehicles so there are multiple incentives and there are multiple government rules which come into picture as well so in summary lithium ion batteries are extremely important when it comes to evolution of the entire automobile sector into ev space and unfortunately in this hour of need india is running short of lithium ion reserve india does not have enough sufficient amount of lithium ion reserves for a massive ev industry space because of which it has to import now currently because of the ongoing issue between india and china there is a massive tension when it comes to importing lithium ion from china purely because it is limited and it will also be expensive so india is trying to partner with other domestic countries and international countries as well for example recently india tied up with australia to search for lithium and cobalt mines for the next 6 months and india is also trying to partner with similar other countries as well so what do you think do you think because of the current prices of petrol going up and because of the growing demand of electric vehicles in india india will be able to penetrate into the ev sector or do you think countries like china will kill the ev sector in india because of the india running short of lithium ion and definitely you know because of the raw material going up the cost of these cars will definitely go up which will kill the ev sector space in india so do let me know in the comment section what do you think is the future of the ev sector in india and if you did find this video useful if you found any value in this video make sure you do like it make sure you do subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video